never really thought it was realistic to be a musician. I realized that for a minimal amount of money, I could play music and do what I loved, and even if I barely getting by, it's still better than barely getting by working some job that I hate. Ever since I was young enough to remember, I've always wanted to be packing 60,000 people stadiums and going on tour around the world for a year at a time. It's always just a someday, you know. It was just like I woke up one day and it's like, going to Nashville, I just feel empowered. It, everyone's so supportive here, always telling you, you, you know, you gotta play here, you gotta check out this place, or... As soon as I turned 16 and got my car, you know, I got my rebellious stage. It was still music that was always my anchor. Uh, all I know was my way to deal with a breakup. You leave someone that you spend so much time with and you don't, you don't know how to do anything without them. Sad and I should be crying my eyes out. I should consider in my options be form an alternate eternities, you know, but I have. I've been lucky before I know Yeah, it's like the time in which I met you And then the time that I will brought you back to my life, yes But she's so, I'm like moving on And pieces let fall as they may, she said Oh, but pieces is all um, I Instead have, of writing a sad, you know, pity know. song about it I just wrote it in a, you know, upbeat yeah, rhythm Someone's gonna fall in love with that song, you know Even if they don't fall in love with me And, uh uh, my mom plays the piano, she sings, she's written her own songs, and her biggest influence on me is just her vocal styling, really. She's just kind of got like a jazzy, bluesy, you know, a lot of soul for, you know, a little white girl, I guess. <laughs> a lot of times as a kid, I would just listen to her sing. Uh, when I first started learning the guitar, I was frustrated I couldn't couldn't play a song or I couldn't sound like everyone else, and she was just like, well, write, write your own song, you know? So really, that... That's how I started writing my own songs. My biggest idol would have to be the King Elvis Presley. I would aspire to be half the performer that he was. Tattoo of Gold Mama, is kind of like my badass rock song, in my mind anyway. You know, some people wear their gold chains or gold teeth or whatever, like, I'm gonna get gold sewn into my skin. And so, you know, in the song it is just, uh, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna just make so much money, I'll spend all day doing nothing but counting my cash. It just makes me feel like a rock star every time to sing it. I'll have a tattoo of gold and talk to ladies and the one man more than imagine. Oh, now I said, Mama, I ain't coming home. I ain't coming home. I find it difficult to say how I really feel about certain situations and and so that's why I write and if you know my if my music can help someone express themselves or even to inspire someone to, to go out and follow their dream. I mean how could it be any better than that, you know? It's funny, I wrote Don't Stop Singing really for myself. Where, you know, you write so many songs and you work so hard on them, and it's like, why am I even doing this, you know? And you do get discouraged. You just gotta keep singing, even if you don't make it to the moon, you know? Yeah, what you want, I know you'll find it. It's already in your heart and waiting for you. Make me so proud to go back and you know hold like a free concert there at the Fairfield Park and KZ Illinois and everyone in the whole county comes to see me and have a sign welcome to KZ home of singer songwriter Aaron Kreitz you know. So baby keep on singing every time you get off tune. Yes and maybe you could love me too.